Hey, we're working on a new project, which is a renovation to a historic row house uh, in the Independence Hall area of Philadelphia. So it's an interesting time to look at what we're doing. So it's a double row house, consists of two original 18th century houses that are now one home. Here's the side elevation, and it's got a great little side courtyard. So we're going to be doing the additions and the renovations that we're going to add on uh, in the back of the house. All right, so the design requirements. First, add a three-floor elevator. And second, uh, put a new, larger, better kitchen. Add a lav on the first floor. A family room with a huge TV and improve the courtyard. We make measured drawings in the field that uh, follow all the dimensions of the existing conditions, zooming in on windows, doors, all the measurements of the site. This is the second floor. We're kind of interested in hidden conditions where there have been walls that have been boxed out and things removed. All that info to create an accurate measured drawing in a computer-aided design system. Come up with design alternates to show different ways to uh, approach the design. So in this first idea, we put the kitchen in the center, and that was the client's original idea. Um, make it really central to the first floor and lots of flowing around it. Um, so uh, it's a little bit narrow. Uh, I don't think it's going to be easy to do also because we have to remove the bearing wall that holds up this 17th century house, and gravity is the same today as it was in the 17th century. So that's going to be a little bit difficult. This is another concept to make the den be in the addition. Nice place for that large TV. And the dining room uh, where it is currently actually. And then put the kitchen in the front of the house. Not too crazy about the idea of having the kitchen in the front. It sort of flies in the face of convention. Kitchen tends to be an informal space, tends to be at the rear of the house. and Informal spaces tend to be at the front of the house. This idea was an interesting one to put the kitchen in the space where you enter from the rear of the house, make the family room be in the addition, and put the dining room in the front, which kind of makes sense, and then the sitting room uh, would be the transition between the two. It's a nice concept. It's a little bit tight right here where you enter the house, and also you're entering then right onto the kitchen. Now that's not terrible. It is, again, um, you know, in, in a 1700s era house. So, um, it's promising, but it's a little bit tight. Then this is the design that everybody ended up liking the best. You come in the rear entrance, um, which is the everyday entrance, and you come into a sitting area that will have enough openness and flow to make it work, and enough space for this large television to be nestled on the wall in a nice little frame. Um, the dining room would be in the front, which makes sense, and the sitting room with the piano in the middle, and a real nice large kitchen that we're going to show you more about in the subsequent video. That'll have a cooking line that's in a big uh, masonry arch and uh, a cleanup line, a prep line that's on the uh, outside wall and a big sort of country uh, kitchen table look island that's sitting in the middle. Uh, we're going to open up the stairway. Right now that's boxed into a vestibule and you walk in the front door and you're in this sort of enclosed vestibule that looks like this. And so that's not really a traditional looking stair. So we want to change that around to look like this so that it'll have a traditional uh, handrail and baluster newel post design that would have been more in keeping with the 1700s era house. And one idea that I'm real happy with that the client came up with is to connect the dining room, let's zoom out, connect the dining room with the kitchen through a passageway here. So we're going to make an opening. It's not huge, but it's going to work pretty nicely. 